This uh, is or was a Keurig uh, coffee maker and it stopped working so we've torn, torn it down to try to figure out what's causing it not to work. Now when you plug it in, you know, none of the lights come on. It, it seems to not respond at all. Uh, so the first thought was like the thermal fuse maybe, which is in here, and the thermal fuse is fine. The next thing we suspected was the transformer. Uh, so to test the transformer, the first thing I did is, well, it says that the output is the blue wires. It says output blue-blue, 14 and a half volts. So I plugged it in and measured, I unplugged the blue connector from the board and measured the voltage and it said zero. So that led me to think maybe the transformer is not quite right. Um, and then I unplugged the red, the, the primary, the input winding, and measured it, and there was 120 volts across it. So, of course, just remember a transformer, on one side you would expect 120, on the outside you would expect this number here, 14 and a half. So there was 120 on the input, or the primary winding, but the output winding, it was seeing zero. Then I put the meter into the ohms setting. Since each winding is, is literally just wound up copper wire, there should be electrical connection between the two red wires and between the two blue wires. So if we check the red winding, the primary winding, this is where 120 volts would be applied. And we don't see anything there. But if we check the blue winding, the secondary winding, it says 2.8 ohms, which means that the output, the secondary winding, is working correctly, or we think it is. However, the primary winding, there's not even a complete loop. Like there's somewhere inside the transformer, the copper wire is broken and not making a connection. And so no power is able to come out to, you know, get, get through the iron, the um, ferrite core and go to the rest, you know, that's why we're seeing zero volts on the output. And that would also explain why none of the electronics are have any indication that they're powering up. Now that you have that concept of what I described, how I tested it, let me show you exactly what I did. So first, I'll put the meter into AC volts. And actually, let's... I have these uh, unplugged from the board. We'll put them back in real quick. Okay. And I guess the blue one I can have out. This is the output. The input is connected to live. And the so we should see the 14 and a half at the output, or I mean we 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 won't because it's broken. But we're doing this from a testing point of view. So here's the meter. It's currently reading zero, and then you can carefully up. I can actually put one probe there and check the other probe, make contact with the metal, and there's actually zero volts here. So we know that something's not quite right. We're not sure yet. So now I will unplug the primary winding as well, that connector. And I'll make sure that there's actually 120 volts getting to the transformer because it's possible when you're doing diagnostics, you know, maybe there's just, just because there's no voltage on the output doesn't mean a transformer is broken and maybe this the break is somewhere before that so let's make sure there's actually voltage going into the transformer so to do that I will test the uh, metal contacts on the circuit board that go into the uh, plug for the winding and I don't know if you can see the meter there but it comes up to 125 volts
So now we know there's power going into the transformer and nothing coming out. So we're fairly sure the problem is in the transformer and that's when we want to switch it to ohm setting and check the primary winding and check the secondary winding to see which one's the problem. And that's where we can see that the 2.8 ohms, there is a connection between the two blue wires, which means the secondary winding looks good. However, when we do the same, we look for continuity on the primary winding, there is nothing. So now we can say that the transformer primary winding, this side here, somewhere in the coil, there is a break.